Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach to the Fiercely Ambitious. This is going to be a short video that's going to address a pain point that a lot of you seem to be having, which is what exactly is the best way to follow up with someone after a job interview? Um, a lot of people, they, they, they sweat over the time frame, like when should I send this thing? A lot of people sweat over the idea of like, what do I say? You know, I just spent like an hour, hour plus, you know, going over my whole life story. Um, what could I possibly have to say after that? So I want to just make it really simple for you and give you like a, a little strategy on how to address this. Okay. What is the point of a follow up? Is it to simply be polite? Is it to, um, uh, you know, um, somehow uh, make a stronger case for yourself? No. Um, in my opinion, the main point of following up after a job interview is to keep the conversation going, preferably with the person that's been your like main point of contact there. So like, let's say, um, you know, if it's someone in HR, if it's an executive that you got an, a referral for, whoever your main person is that you've been dialoguing with most frequently, preferably someone with some clout in this process, is the person that you're going to be sending this follow-up message to. Now, time frame wise after a job interview, make it really clear, next day, no exceptions, don't stretch it out, don't wait 48 hours, 72, don't wait for the weekend, don't give yourself an excuse, okay? The next day the morning you sit down in front of your computer as you're listening to this right and you're uh taking care of this follow-up message it should not take you more than a few minutes to to craft this message okay you're, you're not going for a shakespearean uh soliloquy here you're you are um setting this up to keep the conversation going that is your one and only objective here in an ideal world every step uh in the hiring process every interview between that there would be an interstitial dialogue going on between you and your main point of contact. You guys are talking, you guys are getting to know each other better, you guys are addressing any points of concern so that each and every interview is 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 massively deeper and stronger in terms of what's being addressed, right? So you, it's your job through the follow-up to keep that going. So what are some things that you can talk about here? In my opinion, there's three major kind of hooks that you can use for this follow-up, okay? One is expanding upon something that was only briefly touched on in that interview. Now, one good practice for all of you out there, okay? After a job interview, whether you're in your car, riding the subway, taking an Uber, I don't care what it is, have a notepad or at least have a notes app on your phone and jot down all of your immediate perceptions of how things went. Personality traits, what worked, what didn't. Questions, what worked, what didn't. Stories, what worked, what didn't, right? So you've got this kind of like running tab going on and you should be adding to that at every stage in the interview um, to, to, to stay completely aware and have your own um, line in the sand in terms of what's already been discussed and how we can expand things. Um, so you're doing that and when it's fresh, you're sending this follow-up message, right? And in this follow-up message, one of the best things you can do is if you've noticed, you know, after the last interview, ah, uh, you know what? Uh, we, we only briefly touched on this aspect, you know? Um, you know, like, I, like I'm a technology person and, you know, we spent a long time dealing with the practicalities. We didn't really talk that much about the road ahead when it comes to the IoT space, let's say, right? So you know that there's something there that you could have gone further with. Well, use the follow-up. You know, be like, I, I just want to, you know, uh, let you know what a pleasure it was for us to uh, speak yesterday and discuss this opportunity. You know, we didn't really have a chance to dive into X. Um, uh, here's a couple of ideas that I have for it. Maybe you've got like two or three little bullet points. They don't have to be well thought out or crazily thought out, but just it's a value add. You know, you're, you're demonstrating some additional value. Also, expanding upon something like that is a great way to keep that conversation going, you know, because it, it whenever s someone gives us value like that, whenever it, it's clear that someone has taken time to sort of give us um, an additional piece of information, we have a, a strong sense of reciprocity. It's going to make you look good. And again, using the follow up to expand upon something that was briefly touched on is way better, way better than what most people do, which is, hey, just wanted to follow up and say thank you. You know, never say that you're following up like it's fine. It's assumed. OK, just assume that the conversation is going and what would be the most productive way to keep that going. So expanding upon something like that is a great way. Uh, option number two. This is a great one if you are unhappy 
with a question in the interview, you know, let's say you flubbed it, you know, and, and it happens to all of us, you know, you totally flubbed an interview question, fine. Use the follow-up as the place to re-answer it, you know, and make it clear, treat this person like an ally, treat this person as though they are a, someone that you've worked with for 10 or 15 years, you guys lost touch, and now, miracle of miracles, they happen to be the one at this company who can help you out, right? So I'm treating you like a friend, you're part of my inner circle, I'm not negotiating, by the way, with the company. I'm, I mean, I'm negotiating with the company. I'm never negotiating with you. You are like me, you know? And so that feeling should be there. And so if you want to re-answer a question that you're unhappy with, same idea, thank them and all of that, and then segue into, you know, it's been on my mind. I, I, I have to say, between you and me, I, I don't think I, you know, I answered the question about X um, optimally. So... Forgive me in advance. I'd like to take a second crack here, okay? And boom, now you're going to just write down what you wish you'd said, you know, a perfect answer. You're writing it down. So this should not be rocket science, guys. This should be something that should be easier for you to get on paper than it is to verbalize, right? That may have been one of the reasons why it got flubbed in the, in the first place. So that's option number two for a, for a great follow-up is um, uh, re-answering a question that you're unhappy with. Finally, option number three, if you feel that either expanding upon something that was briefly touched on is not an option or re-answering a flubbed question is not an answer, going personal with that connection is always, always a wonderful thing. And here's what I mean. You follow up, right? You thank them. Let's say they shared one little detail about their family or their journey, or hopefully, you know, you've been asking them a couple of questions in that interview about what their story is. It's always a good way to build rapport with someone. And so you remember that, right? And so what if in that follow-up, you're just like, hey, I just want to want to let you know how much it resonated with me that someone else who, um, you know, has multiple kids, young kids uh, at home, um, uh, is able to execute in this way and deliver in this way and manage it in that way. I find that really inspiring because I felt certainly in my early days very alone, you know. I think every new parent feels completely isolated, you know. Um, uh, you feel like you're the only person on planet Earth who's going to do it and you're never going to survive, you know. And so uh, I found that to be really, I found your journey to be really um, inspiring. I want to let you know that I'm here, I'm available. If there's anything that you need from me uh, to help support uh, moving on to that next step, uh, do let me know. Um, I'm I'm here, uh, and so you can always go personal there. Listen, um, going towards someone's larger story, treating them as a human being and not just a transactional person who's in charge of getting you the role or not. Um, that's key. That's magical. Okay, um, and so if you don't have a better option, build on that. Build on that personal connection. All three of these, though are going to be strong um, levers that you can pull for a great follow-up message, okay? So re-answer uh, a question you're flub you flubbed. Expand upon something that, that, that you felt uh, was only shallowly touched on in the interview, or go personal. Seek to strengthen that personal bond uh, with this person because that will also build rapport. I hope that that's been helpful to you guys. Uh, in terms of, of, of size of the follow-up, don't think multiple paragraphs, okay? A, cup, a couple of lines should do it. You know, one or two very quick paragraphs should do it. Keep it conversational. Keep it light. One great way not to overwrite a follow-up is to set, set a little timer for yourself, okay? Set a timer for six minutes, okay? And in those six minutes, you are going to bang out the, 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 the quick draft. And before it's perfect, you're going to send it out. Um, you want to keep it fresh, uh, and you know, a lot of times what I'll do for a message like that is I'll use like the voice dictation and I'll just say it and then I will, uh, copy and paste it into a message, make a couple of tweaks and get it out there. Overwriting is not your friend when it comes to any of this. Okay. So just a final tip. I hope that's been helpful to you guys. Do keep the questions coming. I do love that. Keep hustling, keep aiming higher than what you think you deserve. Okay. Cause you deserve more than you think you deserve. I, really celebrate your guys' journey, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.